morning comments is the middle of the week and we made it. We're already closer to Friday. Friday can never come soon enough, but it always leaves us way too fast. You know what? That kind of sounds like the weather, kind of unreliable, and the good weather always leaves us too soon. I heard that there may possibly be a chance for some rain today. Mikey, tell us about that. Will it rain? Yo, comments, it's me, the weather guy, weathering it up. I'm here to tell you some weather, so uh, here it is, I guess. It's a low 63, and that's happening right now, but too bad because you can't feel it because you're in homeroom. Temperature will steadily raise, and it'll be around 81 degrees from like 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Now, there is a chance that it's going to rain today, but there's not, it's not a very high chance. So, I mean, if it does, it'll be around 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. May, may, may be at 2 o'clock, but I mean, who knows? Uh, what else? It's, it's also going to rain for the rest of the school year, so that makes sure that you're wearing a poncho every single day, even to class and around the, around the building. Also, I don't really know how exam schedule works, so it kind of just set in for me that this is the last week of news and basically the last week of school, so I don't really know what to say. Um, stay beautiful and enjoy, enjoy it. Thanks, Mikey. This is probably a little off topic, but the rain inclines more people to leave change on the ground if they drop it. You know, they probably don't want to get their hands wet and dirty. Hey, personally, I'd still pick it up, especially if it's a penny facing heads up. Why heads up? Well, let's head over to Tim and talk about National Lucky Penny Day. Good morning, everyone. Let me take you back on a feeling that you might have had before. Did you ever get super excited because you found a piece of change, whether it be a nickel, a dime, a quarter, or an actual dollar bill laying on the ground? Well, this day is specifically about finding a certain copper coin on the ground that's worth only one cent. That's right, it's National Lucky Penny Day. It's always nice to find a penny on this day. Everyone is on the lookout in hopes of finding one laying on the ground. The discovery of pennies is often associated with good luck, and celebrators believe that if you find a penny on Lucky Penny Day, you might just be incredibly blessed. If you find a penny on heads, then it's extremely lucky, but if you find a penny on tails, then it doesn't really mean anything. It's just a piece of change though, right? So if you find a penny while walking around, pick it up because it could either be one cent richer or extremely lucky that day. That's all on this lucky day. Back to you, Kylie and Joe. Thanks, Tim. I hope I find me a penny heads up in the rain. Now, let's talk about next year. As we said yesterday, it will be here before we know it. Our theater department has revealed the shows for next year. In the fall, we'll get to see Clue, which I am looking forward to. It is hilarious. Then in the spring, theater will present Descendants. I guess everyone remembers when that came out. I do. It was the summer of 2015. My friends and I were so excited. Anyways, take a look. There is an island prison home to the most infamous villains that have ever lived. Cruella de Vil, Jafar, the Evil Queen, and Maleficent. Each one has a child that has never left their side until now. You're gonna be crowned king next month. I've chosen my first official proclamation. The children of the Isle of the Lost should be given a chance to live here in Ordon. You four have been chosen to go to a different school. Arjun Pet. What? I don't do uniforms. Prissy pink princesses. They allow dogs. You are not gonna see me start doing curtsy. This summer, Ow! Oh! the next generation of villains arrives. Jay, son of Jafar. What are you doing? It's called stealing. It's like buying whatever I want. Except it's free. Evie, daughter of Evil Queen. Is everybody at home is pretty easy? I like to think I'm the fairest of them all. Beauty is paid. Carlos, son of Cruella de Vil. This thing is a killer! This is a vicious, rabid pack animal. Hey, who told you that? My mother. And now, daughter of Maleficent. <laughs> They're at their best when doing their worst. Beware, forswear, undo James hair. There's a lot more where that came from. All about world domination. What do you think your parents are gonna do if we don't pull this off? They will be proud of us for doing our best. Really? No, I think we are definitely goners. Disney's Descendants, the Disney Channel movie event of the year on Disney Channel. You didn't know? Disney villains have kids too. And sure, it may be called Sleeping Beauty, but we know it's all about Maleficent. 
I am excited about this show too. I'll definitely be back to see it. Next up, let's talk about the final week of clubs. First, if you missed out on Battle of the Books this morning, stop by room 190 to learn more. Our other club meeting this week is Dungeons and Dragons on Thursday after school. Now we have some end of the year reminders. If you need summer school information, it is on our Central Crossing website, so be sure and check that out. And with that being said, let's switch up the topic and head over to Jacob with the sports. What up, sporters? I don't even know why I'm saying what's up. Like, y'all can respond. But anywho, I want to remind everyone that at Essential, anyone can participate in anything. You do not need experience. Just come out, enjoy the outdoors, and enjoy getting active. Here's what you can do to get involved with now in pre preparation for next school year. Cross Country has a parent athlete meeting today at 6 p.m. in Cafeteria C. Plan to come out and get to 411 for Cross Country. Use this QR code for more information and or contact Coach Box. Next, football is looking for football interns to help with videography and athletic training. If you're interested, see Coach White or Coach Christopher Lee. And then, girls golf has started. They practice at Mantel Golf Course every Thursday from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Come join in on the fun. See Coach Ramirez with questions. Plus, boys soccer open gyms have begun. They are Mondays and Wednesdays from 6 to 7.30 p.m. until May 29th. And girls soccer open gyms are Wednesday, 3.30 to 4.30, and morning workouts are Tuesdays and Thursdays, 6 to 7 a.m. in the weight room. See Coach Williams with any questions. In addition to all that, there are three more fall sports you can participate in. These include boys golf, girls tennis, and girls volleyball. If you're interested in these, stop by the athletic office for more information. Before I wrap this up, again, here's a huge shout out to our track and field regional competitors. Tyrone Whitfield, Dominique Wilkins, Malik Kamara, and JD Laws in the 4x200 relay race. Cordy Watkins in the high jump, JD Laws and Morgan Brothers in the long jump. So, good luck to all of you as you head to Pick North today for regionals. That's all I got. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Jacob. The sports sound great. Once again, congratulations, to track and field. Well, that's it for today. Have a good day. Bye. Thanks for watching.